you know, ADCC to me is a, to me the biggest tournament in the world when it comes down to Nogi, submission only kind of tournament. Um, to me, it's the most prestigious tournament out there that I can win at forever. You know what I mean? Like, if I win this, I don't care about any other tournament no more. There's other tournaments I'll do and I'll still compete and stuff, but I feel like I accomplished my dreams, you know? I really want to be an EBI champion and I want to be an ADCC champion. And to me, it's just the biggest tournament in the world. You know, this is my third time back and um, a lot of vets that won it the years before are not in this uh, division this year. You know what I mean? Like Cobrina's out, the Mendes brothers are out. So it kind of leaves room for another person to rise and take that spot. And, um, you know, the first year I was brand new. Second year, I had a little more experience. And um, this year, I just feel confident. I just feel like this is my time, you know, to go out there and really change the game and make some noise. And, you know, I've been preparing for it and I'm excited for it. But I think the last two years, or the last two times I competed, kind of has got me ready for this moment. and. I feel a lot more mature and more relaxed. If you've been training Jiu Jitsu for a long time, you're around the right environment, you take care of your body type. I mean, you know, you know a lot of 16, 15 year old kids, they mature fast. My nephew is like only 14, he's already bigger than me, you know, taller, stronger it looks like. And at this point, you know, you gotta respect anybody on the mass. If they're at that level, competing with you at that level, they earn their way up there. I'm fucking treat them like adults, you know what I mean? Like they've been drinking their whole life, you know what I mean? Like I can't underestimate anybody. And Jiu Jitsu age is not as relevant, you know what I mean? Sometimes the up and coming like 17, 16 year olds, 18 year olds are the ones that are gonna be the best, you know, the next couple of years. So you gotta be careful for those guys, not just the vets that have been in there for a while. You know, the vets, I'm like a in-betweener, you know, I'm not like a super vet that's been in there forever, you know, and I'm not a brand new, you know, young, fucking 17 year old guy coming up I'm, I'm in between I'm just a freak roaming these brackets and you know whoever gets me it, it's not gonna be fun doesn't matter if you're young or old you're gonna go hard Ooh. I think if it comes down to it I think like a full circle would make sense for me to go either up against uh, Paulo Miao you know just cause um, he beat me last year or to go up against Tranquino which he beat me the year before that. So those two guys are the ones that um, I wanna really take out. And you know, I can see me going in the finals with, versus both of them. Both of them have, you know, a big chance of winning it too and doing very well. So those guys, I definitely got my eye on them, but there's so many studs that it could be really anybody, you know? I think we're already outgrowing our gym right here, you know, in Oceanside, we already have you know, over 600 students. Um, we've been doing really good because we have a really good team and not just me by myself. You know, a lot of people think the 10 Planet Ocean side, even though, you know, I started the team and it's, you know, my brand and stuff like that. I have people with me that have been, you know, really helping a lot. You need a good squad, a good team. And my goal is to build the, you know, something that could help us, you know, us grapplers, us MMA fighters, help us to give us a, a different, um, you know, kind of future, you know, instead of just fighting and then after that getting a normal job, I, I want to be able to teach jiu-jitsu for the rest of my life and I want these competitors, these awesome grapplers that love jiu-jitsu and they're super talented to be able to, you know, run, be part of a big gym that has a lot of students and, you know, we're profitable and we can support our, our, our athletes, you know what I mean, which is difficult to do, that's the dream for me, to be able to go to 10 Planet Freaks, all the people that put in work, you know, you get to live the lifestyle of a jiu-jitsu rapper and a jiu-jitsu master. I think, you know, everyone wants to be a part of a community, you know what I mean? And our community attracts everybody because we're the freaks, you know, and everybody, I think, deep inside feels like a freak, you know what I mean? Whether they admit it or not. So, like, when they see that we're, like, embracing that concept, you know, that we welcome people that are weird, people that are strange, people that feel like they don't belong somewhere, like, we kind of build that environment here that we welcome literally everybody and you know we find good in everybody and everybody has potential to really you know progress in this jiu-jitsu community jiu-jitsu is just like what we do here but there's so much more going on with the energy and just like the connections and you know the experiences you have with other people that come here 
and I think that's the main thing. We want to have that energy, that good vibe, almost like a, you know, it's like a clubhouse where people you enjoy to be around and you want to come and hang out. And it's kind of exclusive because you got to be part of our team to really be here and get to experience what we experience. And we train hard every day. We try to kill each other every day. I mean, every gym does that, you know what I mean? But afterwards, we, we realize that it's just an art and it's all for fun. And we all want to help each other out no matter who we are or who you are, we all have different goals and we all want to help each other accomplish those goals because it's that kind of gym. Like, we want to see people succeed here. We want people to do good. We don't want to step on top of each other to get on top. We want everybody to come up together because at the end of the day, like, I'm going to do, accomplish what I'm going to accomplish, but what is going to be left of my legacy is my team, my, my family, you know what I mean? And that's what I'm really, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to build that now because I know uh, even though I live in the moment, I know the future is going to be here tomorrow. You know what I mean? So I want to be ready that I build those good relationships, that good energy, and that's going to ho hopefully carry on for the rest of my life.